Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing off the ACDC Let There Be Rock Limited Edition 10. First I want to say, I love ACDC, they're one of my favorite rock bands. And um, when I knew this was coming out, you know, I got really excited and I just went down to Walmart and picked it up. I think the first day it came out, you know, because I've never seen it, I, I hadn't seen it and I watched it. Um, great concert movie, really like it. It's one of my favorite ones, right next to a Led Zeppelin's The Song Remains the Same. But I'm going to go ahead and show it off. You can see here's the front, and um, let me slide it out real quick. Here's the uh, paper that goes around it, and it shows everything that's in it. It's the back, 30th Anniversary Limited Edition Collector's Tin. Here's the front of it, and, it's, and I love that picture of Angus right there, him and all this is very nicely embossed. ACDC Let It Be Rock. It's all embossed. Picture of Angus. And this is a limited edition of, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's a limited edition of 90,000. I have number 45,495. Yeah, it's really nice. Here's the side. Also embossed. And the back is plain. And you open it up. And the first thing you come with is this little folder, fold it out, it's got, you know, different, um, quotes from people to watch it, like Rick Allen from Def Leppard, from the morning I picked up a pair of drumsticks, and this is pretty much just them, just like, Scott Ian from Anthrax, uh, Matt Sorum, who played in Guns N' Roses and The Cult, just talking about if how um, ACDC had influenced all of them. There's Angus again. And then, slide this out, this little folder. Well, not folder, but it's a classic thing. And, um, hang on a sec. Some really nice stuff. The first thing is, uh, comes with a little guitar pick. There really cool and then it's got um cards first thing is a nice little poster replica love that poster and then of course film stills bond there's Angus once again Angus with the crowd There's Bon Scott. There's that. And then it also comes with this really nice booklet, which is written by Anthony Boza, I think, who is the Arthur of uh, the new ACDC, an ACDC book and this is a little booklet that he did for this set it's really nice got a lot of information about ACDC a lot of great photographs a lot of band photos and live stuff Bond and Angus once again. It's a lot of pictures of Bond and Angus. Uh, I think they they should have had more of Cliff and the rest of the band, Malcolm. But I don't know. One band thing and Bond and Angus and Bond and Angus again. Hmm. But either way, oh, and the last last couple of pages is talking about the release of the film when it was first released in theaters and then on VHS. And then this is the uh. Book Why ACDC Matters, written by Anthony Boza, who also wrote this, who wrote this little booklet. And the last thing is, of course, the actual uh, DVD ACDC Limited Collector's Edition. There's the disc. I love the disc artwork. Hate that though. But and here's the back. Digital remaster from. 
for its 30th anniversary. It's the legendary ACDC concert. And it's got a lot of great features like a revealing featurettes, including musicians, music, historians, and journalists. As they blow the lid off ACDC. It's got loud, locked, and loaded. It's got Angus Young, guitar monster. Bon Scott, the pirate of rock and roll, and ACDC, a rock solid legacy. And Rock Light discusses GACDC songs. There's a rating. So, um, I know this was a quick overview, but I just wanted to go ahead and just show you guys off this nice set. Um, so it's got a lot of great stuff in it. So, um, anyway, um, thank you guys for watching my overview of the ACDC Let There Be Rock Limited Edition 10. And, um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys around. Bye.